I'm Erin J Doyle. Welcome to my channel and day 9 of NaNoWriMo. It is 7pm and I have been doing things and doing things all day. I obviously worked all day and then I decided to go for my walk at the end of the day instead of the beginning so that has kind of put my evening off kilter so I haven't even had dinner yet. So what I'm gonna do, put food in the oven, while that's cooking, I'm going to watch cartoons, so I don't have to stand, I don't have to think, I can just vegetate, and then after dinner I will get some writing done. What I have done just, I don't know, throughout the day, I guess, or my walk, or somewhere along the lines, was have some thoughts about a completely unrelated project, which is of no help whatsoever to my nano project. But anyway, um... Those of you who have been around for a little while will have heard me talk a little bit about my uh, family history project. For those of you who are new, it's um, in its most basic form, it's a project where I'm hoping to preserve the oral histories of my maternal family. And this is something that is going to require some research, so I haven't been actively working on it because it's going to require travel to do the research. Obviously that is not currently an option. Um, but anyway, I've had a conversation with one of my sisters that kind of bled into my thoughts about the Family History Project. Something that this project will deal with is our uh, mixed ancestry. And we were talking about uh, connection with sort of ancestral culture and the accessibility or lack thereof of those cultures and um, colonialism and colorism and racism and the yeah the isms and how they relate to our like not our culture as in like wider culture but just our specific just the two of us cultural experience which is going to be different from our other siblings because they've got other parents so it's kind of like a just between you and I who the hell are we kind of conversation um, so anyway some of her uh, thoughts they bled into my thoughts about this project a little bit um, nothing too coherent or well formulated as yet but thoughts have been thought if I continue having thoughts of this nature, I'm going to have to go very, very far for research. Currently, I only have to drive for several hours, once the borders open, uh, to the region that I need to do interviews and things in. If the new thoughts continue to be thought, I may have to take a plane or two. And by may, I mean will. Um, but anyway... That's where I'm up to, basically nowhere, but time for dinner. It is now 8.30 and I am on the very last sentence of chapter 49. I would have waited until after I was actually finished with it before filming an update, but I had to stop and fact check something. And because it involves opening up this, I thought I'd show you what this is. This cost me three euro and is, as you might expect, a tube of cardboard from the Camino. When you finish the Camino de Santiago you receive a Compostela, which is your certificate of completion. I'm sure I've mentioned it previously. It's free. But you can also buy a tube to keep it safe in when you return home. And you can also get for two euros a certificate of distance. So very carefully tucked away in here, waiting for me to get around to framing them, are my certificates. So these are from uh, when I walked in 2016. Yeah, this is uh, my Compostela. To be honest, I have absolutely no idea what it says. And then, this is the bit that I have to double check. 
Uh, I just wanted to make sure I was describing it correctly. You have a certificate of distance. This one has the information on it, it tells you, this is what I had to double check, um, the date that I finished, how far I walked, the date that I started, where I started, both the name of the town and what country, and um, like what path I took, because the Camino is many different paths all terminating in the same place, this one tells you the path. I think it says that because it has something that might be similar to the word route and it says Camino Frances which is um, the name of the path that leads from um, Saint Jean Peter Port to Santiago de Compostela. So yeah I just wanted to check exactly what information it records and stuff so I can make sure I haven't described the wrong thing. So yeah, just had to double check that. It's now 9pm and I'm not finished with chapter 49. It's being a bit of a tricky one. I think I will probably move on to the next chapter tomorrow. Uh, what I have done for now is mark some paragraphs which I would like to rewrite later but after I have made some of the other changes earlier in the book which are on my increasingly long list of things to go and do. The reason I want to do it later is because the scenes which I want to add earlier in the story are all to do with um, increasing my character's interactions with people. And this chapter has been written when my character is mostly by themselves and I would like to give her some company. So I want to write those additional scenes with interactions with more people to give me a better feel of which friend I want to be there in this chapter. If I write it now it'll just be like, I don't know, that one. It'd probably be better if the decision was made in a slightly more informed way though. It's getting really late so that'll be it for this vlog. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave it a like, leave a comment below to let me know how you're going. If you're new around here maybe consider hitting subscribe and ringing that bell so you can stay up to date and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.